everyone. I got this Sophie and Toffee um, box. It is the Starter Elves box. It is not one of the monthly subscription ones. It is the Starter box. And look at them. Even the mailing envelope is all pretty and decorated. Good job. I love it when stuff comes all nicely packaged. So I did already open this and took everything out of any inside packaging just to make the video a little shorter. So when you get yours, it will have more packaging than this. Um, each of the molds came wrapped in plastic. Um, silicone cup did. And the LED light also came in a box. Okay, so there is a little bit of extra packaging in here. But other than that, this is how it came. So in the box, I got... A graduated silicone measuring cup. I got a little silicone mixing dish and I love that it has the little divots on the side to put. It also came with these. These are also silicone. Okay and they're little. One's a little angled edge. One's a little pointy edge. Um, so you can mix and then you can set it there and it won't fall. So it has little divots. It also came with this other one, uh, flat edge, as well as a little scoop and silicone as well. It came with 25 grams of UV resin, clear. It came with three colors of pigment dye, the red, yellow, and blue, which is perfect because it's the primaries and you can mix pretty well anything from that. It came with some really ultra fine glitter. Let's see if I can get a decent shot of that. Probably not going to show up on the camera, but it's super sparkly. It came with the LED UV light. To cure it, no, it did not come with batteries. You do have to put batteries in it. it. Takes three AAA batteries, okay, and that's for curing the the resin. It came with two of these. I don't know if they're glass or if they're plastic, but these uh, test tubes, and just for size reference, like, okay. Um, I think I want to say they're glass, but I don't know. Maybe they're plastic. When I hit them against each other, I don't know if that helps. They sound like glass. <laughs> it came with a picture of a project you can make. Everything for this project does come in the box. Okay. Um, this feather mold is in the box. This bow mold is in the box. There's the test tube. And even these gold pieces are in the box as well. So it does come with that. I have no idea what this other side says, but it does come with that. Um, I do know that their YouTube channel, their Instagram channel, and their Facebook always has uh, little videos or instructionals on how to complete the projects as well. I did not watch the one for this, but that's okay. Here's the feather mold. Very detailed. Um, there's also this little heart with the feathers. I like that one. Or wings. It has two different size bow molds. And it has this. They're sphere molds. So they're little round balls. That's what the mold is actually of. And then it also came with a whole bunch of little goodies. It came with... Let's see if we can get this to show up good on camera. Without my shaky hands. Alright. Let's see. These... Little, they're actually bright blue. It's showing up dark blue on the camera. But they're not. They're more like a... They are clear and they're like a teal blue. These ones are more like a sky blue. They're also clear. 
and they're like little pebbles. And I don't think you can see that on camera because of the glare off the plastic. Purple pebbles, same thing. They're like a, a lavender purple. It's pretty light. They, they're showing up much darker on the camera. Um, and they're just little pebbles. This is more like a royal blue. Um, again, showing up darker on the camera. They're not quite that dark. Um, has these little beads. Some pink and blue and turquoise. And has these ones. Some pink and blue again. They're showing up darker on the camera. Um, who knows, maybe it's just the way I'm looking at my camera right now. A couple of them are in settings. Okay. And it also came with some pink pebbles. So those are in there. As well as a whole bunch of little gold things. So we've got a couple that don't want to come to the package. A little star and, I don't know, a snowflake, I guess. Some French. I need to ask my kids what this says, but I'm ready to be able to speak French. I don't know if you can read that or not. And this one says the same thing. Some gears. A little unicorn. Which I know my daughter is going to love. There's the little crown that was on the end of the magic wand in the picture. A uh, little fairy. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to hit the camera. Um, some jump rings. Another little gear. Another little star. Some odds and ends. So, I have never used UV resin. This is my admission of guilt. Um, so I kind of want to try it. And I'm thinking I might just make... I don't know. I kind of like this feather. So I kind of want to try it. Um, I do use resin, full disclosure, but the kind I usually use the two-part resin. So I am not used to being able to instantly have cured resin. I'm used to using a two-part resin that you have to mix up and then you have to let it cure over overnight usually it's like six or seven hours I guess uh, cure time and then or set time and then really another week really to fully cure but it is hard after six or seven hours uh, I'm not used to being able to do this instantly uh, I really should have had a pen or something the bottle is sealed inside so I'm just trying to fight to get it open here. Something I hadn't really planned on was this being sealed. It's not an easy seal to get off. Probably for good reason. Okay. And it does have like this screws on to close it. Of course, now I have resin on my hands. Kind of sticky. It does have a smell. Um, it is not good for you. You, if you work with it a lot, you should use an organic vapor mask. I do have one. Um, I use it when I use my other one. I'm being bad tonight and not using it. Uh, this is not a craft for kids. Kids should not use resin. It is really not good for them. It's not good for adults either, but really not good for kids. Um, so I'm kind of thinking I want to do two colors. So I'm thinking I will do, and I don't really know. I do, I don't know, that much and see how it goes. Kind of thinking I want like a, a light blue and a purple. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I think if I put, oh, these are also sealed and have to be cut open, which is a good thing. That's good. One drop, see how that goes. And 
and mix that. The nice part, see I'm used to the, with the two part resin, um, mixing the two parts together is the part that most people <laughs> mess up the most. Uh, so this avoids that. I'm just going to zoom in a little more here, sorry. Let's see what I'm doing. Probably should have picked a smaller one to start, but you know, I suppose I could. Mm. Nah, go big or go home, right? So I'm just going to put some of this in. Kind of hoping to put some of the red in. You could not do this with two part resin, really. Uh, well, you could, but it would. You'd be looking at a couple of days to do a multicolored project because you'd need to let one set up uh, before you could add the other color. So you'd be looking at, you know, six seven hours for the first one to set up, and then you could add your next color um, and that would be rushing it so that's kind of where the, the beauty of this comes in um, let's see if I can get some more out here I'm making a giant mess. I'm really shaky. I just uh, <laughs> went for a bike ride and I haven't biked in 15 or 20 years. So this is bike ride number two in 15 to 20 years. So I went for one on Monday night. Uh, today's Wednesday. I just went for my second one. And I <laughs> am very out of shape. So I'm, I got back and I'm shaky and... <laughs> Decided to do a video. Probably not the best idea. Oh well. It's my apologies if this is a horrible video. There we go. Put that in there. I'm just going to scrape off the top because I don't want any extra around the edge of my design. Let's try that. I'm just going to cure it. So I think it needs like, I think it said 30 to 45 seconds. It does not come with instructions in the kit. You do have to go to their website for the instructions. Um, and of course, I read them, I don't know, when I ordered it, April 23rd. <laughs> Haven't read it since, so I'm going by memory. I think it said like 30 to 45 seconds, so. Yeah, that is hard. That's so awesome having it harden up that quickly. That is so cool. Love that. Okay, so let's, I'm just gonna use the same one because I want purple. I'm not worried about the little bit of blue in there. I'm just gonna add some more resin. On. And I am probably using way more than I need to. I'm okay with that. Open the red. And a little. 
little bit of dye goes a long way, so you do not need a ton of dye. Ooh, it is not giving me the purple I was hoping for. Not even close. It's more like a... Ugh. Like a muddy purple color. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Oh well, I'm gonna try it because, well, what have I got to lose, right? Only one way to learn. Mm -hmm. I'm just using the spatula to kind of scrape out the sides and I'm sure you guys can do a heck of a better job than I'm doing right now tonight. This should at least give you the idea. Just trying to get it in all the little bits. Like I said, I know I've got too much in here, so I'm kind of fighting with this a bit. That's the other part with the two-part epoxy. You always kind of end up mixing up too much um, because once it's, you kind of have to have it all mixed at the same time because it takes a few minutes to mix and it's kind of hard to mix some up mid-project and have it not start setting on you before you get the next another batch mixed if you need to mix more up so it's kind of more important to have the right amount have too much rather than not enough with the other stuff so this is a learning thing for me for not having to have that. Wow, you can really see how shaky my hand is when I use a flashlight. <laughs> Apparently, if you use dark, like, black inks, um, you really want to only use those with clear molds so that you can cure it from both sides because the light doesn't penetrate through the black ink. So let's see this. Wow, that is gorgeous. Love it. Just going to peel my little bits off where I wasn't very neat with it but there you go finished product oh I love it and this is actually straight through yep love it tell me what you think and I will put a link in the description um, that will give you I think it's it might be five dollars off any item or five dollars off if you subscribe or I, I don't know anyway I will share that in the comments for you and let me know what you think